All right, people. So I'm here with uh, a Royal Rumble video, uh, just a preview of the Royal Rumble, I guess you could call it. I didn't really know what to call this video because I'm gonna do a separate predictions video next week. But uh, but a lot of people requested me to do videos on the Royal, Royal Rumble, like who I think is gonna win and shit like that. And I actually got a new format that I'm gonna introduce that I'm gonna do requested videos by. So in the description below. I'm going to leave the link to my notes when I make notes on a video, whether that be a Raw review, SmackDown review, pay-per-view review, or like a video like this where I have some notes on it. I'm going to leave them in the descriptions so you could look at the notes uh, to my video. Maybe you could look at them during the video, after the video, whatever. But I want you kind of guys to just be able to look at like how I take notes on my, you know, on my Raw reviews and shit like that. So it's gonna be like a Google Doc where you could just open it up and look at it. I think I think I made the feature you could where you could comment on it too. So we're gonna see how that goes. And also one more update: when you request a video, somebody asked me like, "Oh, can you say my name in the video and that I requested it?" So I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna do that for everybody. So if you request a video, I will announce your name on uh, YouTube. You know, I'll be oh. You know, Bob requested me to do this video, except I'll name your YouTube name or your Twitter name. Or if you want me, like if you request it on YouTube, but you want me to name your Twitter name, I guess I could do that too. Um, and, and if I guess if you don't want me to mention your, your Twitter handle or your YouTube handle, I guess don't t tell me sp specifically then. But I will be doing that unless uh, requested differently by the person requesting the video. So, um, so let, let's just, you know, get, this is kind of like a test run, I guess. So if you look at the document, if you want to, anyway, I, I, I put up, it's in, it's underlined the title of the video and who it was requested by. So I put Royal, Royal Rumble preview requested by at Aaron Paris on Twitter. That's spelled A-A-R-O-N, Aaron, uh, that's normally how it's spelled, but then the Paris part is spelled P A R A S, no spaces or anything like that. So, so again, there, there's certain parts on here that were requested by a lot of people, and I was just trying this out. I just thought of this today, and um, you know, so I didn't record who rec who requested me to do this video and certain parts. But this is like a requested video, requested video by like two, three, four people. So I didn't record everybody else, and I couldn't really find, I don't, I don't think, all the places where the people requested me to do the video at. Like, some people asked me on Twitter, they requested me to do a video on YouTube, you know, so it's, uh, so again, I, I, I will be more accurate on this in the future. But I, I guess if you requested me to do this video, comment, be comment below so I guess people know. But anyway, the, the people that I found are Aaron Paris on Twitter, spelled A-A-R-O-N-P-A-R. AS on Twitter and also Crusher2524 on YouTube. Um, the first thing that I'm going to comment on is, uh, again, I don't know who asked me specifically because it was like a congregation of a bunch of questions, but the first question was who should win the Rumble? And I believe Daniel Bryan should w win the Rumble. He's clearly the best wrestler in the company, or at least he was. I mean, he's liked by the most people. He's got charisma, you know, he's got the yes thing, he's a good wrestler, and he should be facing Lesnar at WrestleMania, I think I think that would be perfect, him to take the belt away from Lesnar at Mania, so I think Le Bryan should win at the Rumble. Next question is, who should look strong in the Rumble? And you could lose the Rumble, but still look very strong. I think Cesaro should look strong, you know, you could have Cesaro come out there at like number three or four. And just like stay in there until like the last five, four, three people, just stay in there for like an hour, you know, make him make, make him make some key eliminations, and he doesn't have to make like fifteen eliminations, but make him make uh, you know, like eliminate Roman Reigns or some shit like that. He definitely deserves that. Bray Wyatt, I think, should make a big impact too. I mean, he's talented and he needs a boost to get his career back. Tyson Kidd, I think, should make a pretty big impact. Too. Not too big because he is a jobber and you should build him up slowly. There shouldn't be, like, one big jump. But I think Tyson Kidd is definitely talented and definitely deserves more than he has right now. Damian Sandow, I think, should eliminate Miz and kind of turn on Miz. 
maybe to set up a match in the future between the two. Adrian Neville should debut and eliminate somebody significant, maybe Neville, or uh, maybe uh, Rusev he should eliminate, because Neville is very fucking talented. Uh, obviously Brian, because I think he should win the Rumble. <laughs> and the last one is Seth Rollins, too. I see Seth Rollins, I think they might be ter teasing a face turn with him, um, but I don't know. But I think uh, if, if you if you give him a very strong performance at the Rumble, um, you could kind of get the fans behind him a little bit more. Because I think that's what they kind of did with the Shield. Like, they, fans actually realized that they were good, and then they kind of stopped cheating, and they were kind of turning on the authority. So fans started to cheer for them. It was kind of a natural turn. And I think that's what they could do with Seth Rollins. You know, make him look good. Don't have him cheat anymore. Just make him look like a really good wrestler, and the fans will start to cheer for him naturally. So give Seth Rollins a... I think if they give Seth Rollins a good opportunity here, maybe he could eliminate Kane or something like that. You know, just uh, give him uh, some uh, some good uh, things happening to him in this match because he deserves it. He's a he's a he's a very good wrestler, I think, and a very good promo guy. Maybe not very good, but overall, I mean, he's definitely very good. Uh, taking the his his promo ability and his wrestling ability combined. And then the next question is who I want to return. As you see, I, I put the question, I put the number, like number one. And then under it, I, w I will write, like I will indent it a little bit. And if it's more than one answer, I will, I will number it, the answer. Like the first one, I only, I put a dash by it. The number two, there were seven people. So I put one, two, three. I put one Cesaro, two Bray Wyatt. I actually put Bray. But, you know, sometimes I abbreviate or make it shorter. And then number three is who I want to return. Um, and, and when they do returns, it's not usually like 10 returns, so I limited, limited it to 5, and I try to keep it kind of realistic, maybe not how this is that realistic, and the chances of these happening are pretty slim to none, but number 1 is Undertaker, now I don't even know if Undertaker's career is over yet, but if, the, if you're going to return Undertaker, return him at the Royal Rumble, God damn it. you know, it's like, nobody would be expecting it, it would be a surprise thing. So might as well return him at the Rumble. Um, and if you look at what they did uh, in 2012, I believe it was, with The Undertaker, he returned like right after the Royal Rumble, and it worked out good. Have him return at, uh, at, uh, at the Royal Rumble. You know, do something with Bray Wyatt, because I want Bray Wyatt and Undertaker to have a match at Mania. Um, and then... You know, do some elimination shit or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't even have to be Undertaker. I, mean, I don't even know what to do specifically, but have Undertaker. You know, just kind of a mini fight there with Bray Wyatt. You know, kind of a, like a stare down between the two. Um, maybe something like that. And then just have him fight for a little bit. One of them gets eliminated. That kind of sets the stage. And you could do some shit at the elimination chamber. You know, I don't know. I think that would be a great idea, though. Number two, Rock. You know, put him in, you know, what the fuck? Put him in the Rumble, pay him some money, have him go in there for a few minutes. And the good thing about having legends in the Rumble, like the Rock, is he's not going to win, probably. But the person who eliminates him, you could use that to give him a push, like Cesaro. What if Cesaro eliminate, eliminated the Rock? Think how big a deal that would be. So I think that, you know, Rock could be used to push somebody. Um, so, and it would be really cool to see the Rock back, too. And, uh, you know, wrestling for the first time in, what, over a year, well over a year. Number three, Goldberg. Now, I watched an interview with Goldberg on Jesse Ventura's podcast, and Goldberg said he's in good shape. He could return to the ring if he wanted to. So I think that they should have Goldberg return. At the Rumble, make it a surprise return. You know, you could go after whoever. Um, and I think, it, you know, again, if you bring back these legends, it's pretty hard to fuck it up. So, yeah, I think that would be cool. Number four, Del Rio. Even though I'm not a big fan of Del Rio, I think it would be cool to see him back in the company. Um, I have nothing personally against Del Rio. I don't even think he's that bad. I just think that... Um, 
you know, I was listening to other people on YouTube, the Brad Rules, and he's like, uh, he thinks that Del Rio, this was a long time ago, but he thinks that WWE should let Del Rio use more of a lucha style wrestling. And I, I, you know, I don't know what kind of wrestling he uses, but I figure since he's from Mexico, he probably has more of a lucha style background. So you wonder if they're holding him back there. Um, so I don't know about that, but, I would, you know, I think, again, it would still be cool to see him back. He seems like a nice guy in his interviews he's done. So, um, you know, might as well, and it would be a surprise. Isn't that what the Rumble's supposed to be, a surprise? You should be able, you should be able to predict the returns. They should be complete surprises, and Del Rio would definitely be a surprise. And number five, Steve Austin. Even though Punk's gone, Steve Austin could still come back, still kick ass for a little bit in the Rumble. And I think it would be very cool. Now the last one, number four, who I think will return. So return predictions. Number one, I think they'll, I think RVD is going to return. I mean, he's been gone for a while, so I think he'll be back. Number two, Sheamus. Sheamus, again, has been injured for a while. I think he will come back at the Rumble. Three, and these are kind of just out of the kind of random predictions. I don't think they're going to do any special returns uh, for the most part, I don't think. I think three will be Lance Storm. You know, I see Lance Storm has been kind of wrestling on the indie scene in the last, you know, actually last like 10 years almost probably. Um, but I think that, uh, I think that, you know, he, he, he looks like he's still got it. He looks like he's in good shape. So, and he hasn't been in WWE, WWE in a while. So I think they might bring him back. I don't know. Number four, the Brooklyn Brawler. See, I don't think they're going to get any legends back to return for this Royal Rumble. I think Vince McMahon's cheap and he doesn't want to spend his money. So I think they're just going to give us a bunch of jobber returns. So there you go. RBD, Sheamus, Lance Storm, and Brooklyn Brawler. So uh, eh, that's pretty much it for this video, people. Tell me how you like the new format here. I think I'm going to stick with this for uh, for at least the time being. It's kind of organized. You could actually, and you people could actually see my notes too. I think that's a cool aspect. I, I want to make my videos transparent where you could see how I make them. You know, maybe I'll take you behind behind scenes and how I prepare for my videos. I don't do much. I just pick out a shirt and stand in front of the camera. But I always want to give you guys, you know, kind of the, the best experience, I guess you want to call it. Because I don't see many people on YouTube or the YWC saying, yeah, request videos for me to do. See, I actually listen to people. You know, I ask them, so I, that's, why, that's what I want to do to my subscribers and viewers. Uh, kind of make the channel like how they want it. And kind of give them um, an experience on how I make my videos. And just be honest and be truthful. And I think this way here is, uh, you know, the showing you my notes is a great way to just not only show people how I uh, make my videos and show them uh, my notes but also I mean you could follow along if you want so uh, and see how, I, I think some of my, my people might find some of my notes funny maybe I don't know but I think it's a good idea and we'll see how it works I mean it can't go wrong can I mean well, how could it go wrong I mean if you don't want to look at my notes and don't look at them it's not going to affect you so um, hopefully that and also requesting uh, with the request of videos people get their name announced now so Quite possibly that could lead to more requested videos. And again, with the requested videos, I listen to people. And, and, and even if it's a stupid video, I think, I still do it. Uh, so if you request a video, like 99% sure you're going to do it. Unless you comment, make a video on 10,000 reasons why CM Punk's the greatest. Or 10,000 reasons why CM Punk sucks. Alright, don't be a smart ass like that. Or make a video on why, why Ryback is a god. Or why Ryback is, uh, you know, should be worshipped by everybody. Or why people should uh, be forced to worship Ryback as the one and only God. You know, just retarded ass videos like that. You know, just don't even bother commenting. But if you got an intelligent, mature comment on a video you want me to do, let me know. And I will do it and I will also announce your name in the video too. So there you go people. There's your Royal Rumble preview and... Again, I will be doing a Royal Rumble predictions video, so look out for that. So, um, you know, I, again, I don't think the Royal Rumble is going to be that great. I don't think 
Um, who do I think is going to win? You know, I, I don't know if anybody wanted me to. Um, you know, I, I'll just save that, though. Who, who I think is going to win the Rumble. My prediction, I'm going to save that for, actually. I kind of want to keep a balance here. I want to, I don't want to, you know, throw all my, I don't want to use all my ammo in one video. So I'll save that, my prediction for the video that will probably, probably be up mid next week. My Royal Rumble predictions video. This is, I call it the preview because I didn't know what, what else to call it. Because I was going to call it like preview predictions and more, but I just wanted to keep it simple. So just a Royal Rumble. Royal, I can't even fucking say the word after saying it so many times. Royal Rumble preview. Next one will be Royal Rumble uh, predictions. Where I actually give kind of a predictions of who I think is going to win the match. And who I think is going to... I already said who would return, so I don't have to do that. But you get the picture here. So new video format, new shit happening on my, on my channel. Actually, a lot of new shit actually over the past month. New Twitter account. Go follow me on there at Ruthless, Ruthless Ranter where I, where I will be giving... Know the... In the Twitter handle, just at Ruthless Rainer, where I, where I am giving Twitter updates, or I'm tweeting out updates to my channel on here on YouTube, so you could check that out. So um, I I want a lot of, and you can check out my video calendar too. Um, all you have to do is go on my front page, in uh, my YouTube channel, and there's a link up in the upper right hand corner if you're on the home page, or you could. Click on the video where I introduce my video calendar, which I have as my profile video, and it's in the description below. So I want to create a lot of uh, ways for viewers of my channel to see information about my channel, whether that be on a Google calendar, on a Twitter account, on a Google document, just various ways for people to check out my channel, not just me making videos, but, you know, requested videos, getting you guys involved and showing you how I make videos and shit like that. So, uh, anyway, I know I, I know I went off on this video and talked about, you know, shit about my channel, but that's just how it is on this channel. Uh, just because I title a video something doesn't mean I'm going to talk about that topic 100%. I'll talk about it a lot, but sometimes I'll go off on other topics because this, this, this has no script, really. I mean, I guess it does, but it's teleprompter free videos there's no editing there's no nothing it's it's 100 percent authentic there's like fucking a little fucking a few little lines here to guide me along but you need this so you could remember shit like you need it to remember you know you can't just go, go and make up names throughout the video that's then you're gonna look stupid thinking in the middle of the video but i should end this video right now i mean it's already an 18 minute video longer than I intended and I don't like to make videos over 15 minutes because I know people probably don't want to watch a video over 15 minutes I mean just rambling on about random shit people probably aren't even watching now so it's a fucking point so there you go people there's your Royal Rumble preview and the Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble predictions are uh, gonna come uh, early to mid next week probably around there so there you go people